this video lecture I am going to discuss what how to create your first WPF application in Visual Studio 2022 so let's open Visual Studio 2022 so first here we need to click on this create new project after that here you can see C sharp selected all platform and all project or you can see here okay so first to here on this search for template then there you can write WPF now you can uh, select here the language so WPF that is for C sharp Windows and desktop and if you scroll down then you can get here WPF for Visual Studio sorry Visual Basic so WPF that is available with C sharp and the Visual Basic so first application so you need to select here WPF application a project for creating .NET WPF application click on select this one then click this one next and there you need to give the project name so here giving first WPF after that if you want then you can change the location this is the solution name click on this next and dot .NET 6.0 that selected and uh, it's a supported click on this create after creating now there is the project or creating now for the WPF so here you can see XAML part and here main window dot XML and uh, here you can see main windows XML dot CS now this is the six section there you can use any kind of toolbox so the toolbox such as pointer button checkbox combo box radio button and many more so here I'm going to use uh, so you can see different uh, tools are there okay so radio button radio and here let's drag here rich text box okay rich text box that tracked here this is a small now after doing this one here you can just uh, scroll down here you can see run so this is the text properties now rich text box so there I'm going to write uh, hello world hello world control s to save now you can see hello world this will display into the output screen so it's uh, running here and uh, now you can see So you can see on the output screen so this is main window and uh, so this is the main window and uh, why this is not opening I think uh, I uh, stretched that one okay so what we need to do so we need to make that come in inside there inside the main window okay let's uh, click on this attach to debugger then you can definitely this time get here hello world so hello world that's a uh, displaying okay or you can try with uh, any other control so this times going to use uh, here text box so text box text box is there let's drag there and uh, if you want then you can do some modification height width of the text box you can do it later and now you need to uh, see here this is now so 
so this is here you can see text box and this is text and uh, let's give here hello world from text box control s now let's click on this attach then this terms you will get here this is hello and this is hello world from the rich text box and now this is hello world from text box so this is the first way we can this is the first application okay so if you want to remove something so here you can see let's click on this delete so all the control that is deleted from here now if you write uh, once again text box okay so now you can see this is text box here and uh, so whatever the text uh, written there so this here let's write hello world hello world okay control s to save now let's read uh, attached to debugger then you can see hello world there okay hello world this time so uh, displaying there because uh, i think uh, i was used to text block previous times maybe i used to uh, text block so that and you can drag this anywhere you can move here right left anywhere you can move that okay so this is the most uh, simplest way we can create the w first wpf application in visual studio so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you